Thanking Almighty God for bringing us a beautiful day. My name is Sharon Gordon, and it is my duty to welcome you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the seventh annual, I can't believe it, Hub City Sound presents the seventh annual Caribbean Festival right here in New Brunswick. We're in a new home here at Recreation Park. Put your hands together, clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. You know, this is a glorious, glorious city, New Brunswick is, and it's been two years, two years that we have not met in person, so I think that deserves a round of applause as well. I am Sharon Gordon, and I'll be your mistress of ceremonies today, and I'd just like to thank all of you, all of you, for coming out from wherever, even those who drove 93 miles from Orange County, I won't call any names, Andy, thank you so much. Those of you who came from across the street, those of you who came from New York, wherever you came from, we thank you for being here. This day, today, the vibe is gonna be all about positivity, purpose, a vibe of intention, but most of all, a vibe of love. Because we know love builds the bridge and we cross over it, right? Like, comment, and subscribe. Remember to hit that bell to get notifications for more things tempo. Sharon Gordon and it is the 27th of August. We're right here in Recreation Park, 7 Pine Street in New Brunswick. And I'm here with just two of my dear friends, full disclosure. Brother Ose is with Asasaya African Dance Ensemble. And of course, our councilwoman, Elsie Foster. And so I'm not gonna start with Brother Ose, I'm gonna jump over to our councilwoman because without her, we couldn't be here. So respect is due. Welcome to the 7th Annual uh, Hub City Sound Presents, their Carrie Fess, Councilwoman Foster. We dare, we dare, we dare. <laughs> Caribbean people, we're back. We are back in full force and we have been on hiatus because of COVID, but although we were online, but it's good that we're back here today and we want to celebrate our culture, our heritage. We have good food, we have good music, we're dancing, and it is my pleasure again that we are here to celebrate our Caribbean culture. Miss Sharon? Well, thank you. I, I don't have to say much more after that, so I'm just gonna go straight <laughs> in to Brother Jose. Brother Jose, it's your first time being at the festival. People should know that in 2019, Elsie, they were supposed to perform 2020 and then COVID came. Oh, wow. And then here we are, two years later, here they are, they're back. So, Brother Ose, what can folks expect from Asasaya today? Well, we're always going to bring the culture. That's yes, first. Yes. We're going to bring the culture. But today we have our youth ensemble all here, and they bring the fire. They have the energy, they have everything. And they worked with uh, Sister Sharon for some years now. And, you know, this year we are. None of these kids were born when we started the Sasaya because we're celebrating our 20th anniversary. And Jamaica is celebrating its 60th anniversary, so this is a great anniversary year for us. So when people come out, they're going to see culture. They're going to see an expression of children that feel safe, that feel that they could share their artistic expressions, right? They could, they could do it. So you're going to see that. You're going to see another generation of love. Yes. That that is going to keep it going. You're going to see some energy on that stage. Oh yeah. So and we we have two parts. The first part was Sister Sharon, where we do our tribute to Jamaica, right? As fire, we did it once before. No, we did it a couple of times. A couple of times. <laughs> it's going to be fire. You don't want to miss that. It's going to be fire. And then we're going to do um, our African Jim Bay Suite. 
And you're going to see these young children who are well-trained do what they do. I don't have much more to say. Tell a friend to tell a friend. How can people find Asasa Ya online? So you could go to our website. That's asasayaent.org. A-S-A-S-E-Y-A-A-E-N-T.org. Or you could go to our social media, Asasaya Instagram, Asasaya Twitter, Asasaya Culture at Facebook. And you know, for us, just go to newbrunswickarts.org and we're here. Follow us on social media as well. See you in a few. Thank you so much. Sharon Gordon saying, we'll be back. I'm Jim Cahill, mayor of the city of New Brunswick. So this is our seventh annual Hub City Sounds Caribbean Festival. It gets bigger and better each and every year. It has all the traditional Caribbean foods and music and dance. So if that's what you're looking for, this is the place you want to be. Everybody's going to have a great time today and celebrate the great cultures of the Caribbean community. Thanks, everybody. God bless. But I want to introduce to you at this moment someone who has been just about to every one of these festivals. I don't think he missed any. And that's the mayor of New Brunswick, Jim Cahill. Mayor Cahill, on a clock, the man, now what are going, sir? Thank you, Elsie, and thank you, Sharon, for all that you do and for serving as the impetus and inspiration for this great festival. So it is my job to officially welcome you to the city's recreation park and the Hub City Sound's seventh annual uh, Caribbean Festival here in the city of New Brunswick. This event gets bigger and better each and every year. Uh, and it's become renowned for the traditional foods and dance and music of the Caribbean community. So if that's what you're looking for, you are absolutely in the right place. So thanks for coming and supporting it. There's a lot of people who put these kind of events together and they work real hard. Of course, we got the artists, the vendors, the people providing great food, all of those folks. But there are a lot of people behind the scenes and I'd like to just take a moment to recognize someone who is no longer with us but who was a great inspiration to all of us, not only for this event, but really in how to be a good person and serve the community. So if you'll just pause with me for just a second or so to remember a dear friend of all of us, Middlesex County Deputy Commissioner Ken Armwood, who did so much for this festival and helped to make it what it is today. You know, Kenny was such an important inspiration and is important to all of us in so many ways. But I also have to thank some other folks who are doing the hard work. So thanks to Arts New Brunswick, of course the New Brunswick Cultural Center, Middlesex County and the Board of Commissioners, UCAN NJ, Black Circle Symphony, and Tempo. Thank you all for your contributions to the success of today's events. Thanks, everybody. God bless. Have a great rest of the day. Like, comment, and subscribe. Remember to hit that bell to get notifications for more things tempo.
Hello everyone, I'm Deniston Bonnady. I'm with the Rutgers African American Alumni Alliance and I'm here celebrating at the annual Caribbean Festival in New Brunswick, New Jersey. We're having a great time and we have a lot of exciting acts out here. I'm really delighted to be supporting this festival and I hope that you all can come down. If not, take a look at the videos afterwards. Take care. So excited I'm here in New Brunswick at the Caribbean festival and it's something that oh let me go back I'm Susan Saddles how's everybody and I'm here uh, some of you may know me because I've been at the Tony award-winning Crossroads Theatre Company for about 30 years which enabled me to meet this wonderful man Ujima Raj Ujima and every year when he says we're gonna have the Caribbean Festival, I say I'm there because it's such a great opportunity just to meet and connect with people, a mini United Nation. So if you are watching this or if it's too late because it's broadcast after the event, please check this out and do some research online. Also, if you're not familiar with the Crossroads Theater Company, we are the Tony Award winning Crossroads Theater Company. We launched our first ever festival theater season last season. We'll be duplicating that this season, and we want you to all come out. Please visit our website at crossroadstheatercompany.org. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to be here. I want to just hold the phone, microphone in front of everybody else, see what they have to say. But here we go. Peace, love, and art. <laughs> So we are just very grateful to the residents of this area for welcoming us and we would like to really welcome the person that is responsible for connecting us. She is the neighborhood captain, a lifelong resident of New Brunswick. Please help me welcome on stage Miss Cheryl Smith. Cheryl, we are a, come on Cheryl. Hello. There you go. Hey everybody, I'm Cheryl. I am uh, Happy to be here with everybody. We're representing uh, the Ward 27. Welcome to our beautiful park. Hey, Shaleen, everybody's out here. We got a lot of fun and food and vendors. And I'm here with Carl. This is our first year partnering with Hub City Sounds. He represents, we represent also the Vulcan Pioneers. We're always in the community and we love this park also. So enjoy and we look forward to seeing you at the 8th annual. Maybe it's bigger and better here. We might have to move it all the way out. What you know? <laughs> Welcome. We love that. We love that. Come on, put your hands together. Like, comment, and subscribe. Remember to hit that bell to get notifications for more things tempo. to take the time, keep clapping, don't stop, to recognize the legacy of a very special person.
to us. He was our biggest advocate, as the mayor mentioned. He was also an advocate for civility, graciousness, guidance, thoughtfulness, and was behind and still behind all of our events, from windows of understanding to Hub City Sounds, to the underpinning of fighting for social justice issues, such as food equity and domestic violence prevention. He was also our first and only Grand Marshal. I'm speaking, of course, of former Deputy Director Kenneth Penny Armwood. Woo! You know, we like to say that Kenny's legacy is so strong and he will never ever be forgotten and I want to invite someone that also means a great deal to us and he's the perfect person actually to say a few words so please help me welcome on stage director of community and human services for the city of New Brunswick Keith Jones put your hands together for Keith good afternoon everybody <laughs> thank you Sharon so what else is there to be said about Ken? Um, you heard three people speak about Ken and all of the great things that he's done for the county, that he continues to inspire even in his absence, but his presence is always felt. And with that being said, Ken would always want everybody to figure out a way to do something positive, to do something constantly in their community. So I'm not gonna bore you, I'm not gonna stand before you and draw out Ken would want you to enjoy yourself. Ken would want you to enjoy this food. Ken would want you to enjoy each other. And Ken would want you to continue to support all of the events that are hosted in the city of New Brunswick, especially in the city of New Brunswick. Even though he was Piscata away, I think he still loves New Brunswick more. Uh, and we're gonna keep his name alive. We're gonna keep his, his spirit alive. We're gonna keep his work alive. So with that being said, thank you and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, Keith. My name is Kendra Granville and we're here at the 2022 Caribbean Day Festival in New Jersey. I just got off the stage with Black Circle Symphony all the way from Brooklyn, New York. It was a pleasure to be here, pleasure to spend my time with the audience, and pleasure just to mix and mingle with everyone. God bless. Like, comment, and subscribe. Remember to hit that bell to get notifications for more things tempo. It's been a wonderful day. I mean, an absolutely glorious day here at the seventh annual Caribbean Festival. I mean, we got the perfect weather, perfect audience. The audience was so good, interactive. We had great performers. You can still hear Black Circle Symphony on stage. And when I tell you that the food was awesome, the food was awesome. The lines for the vendors have not stopped. 
So you know it was that kind of day. And we just want to thank everyone who made the seventh annual Caribbean Festival. You know, it's Hub City Sounds Presents. And we want to thank each and every one of them. Tracy, Sarah, Ayana, Miss Elsie, Mayor Cahill. I know I'm leaving Rasujima. Just everyone, part of the planning committee, we got you. You're part of the audience, we want to thank you. And to Tempo TV for being, Tempo Networks, for being our media partner. Just thank you, thank you, thank you. We want to catch you next year, right here. It's August 26th, I think, 2023. August 20, 26, 2023. We're going to be right here for the 8th Annual Caribbean Festival. It's all about Hub City Sounds Present. And I'm Sharon Gordon saying, see you next year. Peace out. Clark, the Interim Executive Director for the New Brunswick Cultural Center. We just want to say a huge thanks to all who came out, to the County of Middlesex, the City of New Brunswick, Mayor Cahill, and all of the committee members, and everyone who joined us today. Rasujima, Ms. Sharon, uh, our MC, our hostess with the mostest. What a big shout out to Ayana uh, Slakum and Sarah Farida for um, working this at Magic and making this just an awesome, awesome day. We could not do this without the Vulcan pioneers of New Brunswick, Ms. Cheryl, and those are the, fire, the African American firefighters in the city of New Brunswick. Thank you for welcoming us to Recreation Park. We are just elated to just be here this wonderful day. We had the best weather, the best people, the most delicious food, and we cannot wait to welcome you back next year. Save the date, August 26, 2023, right here in Recreation Park, if they'll have us. Thanks again, follow us on Instagram at Arts New Brunswick and on Facebook at New Brunswick Cultural Center. Again, one love. Thank you. Thank you, Tempo. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Tempo. Like, comment, and subscribe. Remember to hit that bell to get notifications for more things tempo.